Hi everyone, welcome to Civil Learning Library for the topic CS Studies and its limitations based on the AAC code and AAC journal. Share connectors generally made up of steel elements such as standard studs or bars or any other similar elements which are welded to the top flange of the steel section. You can see the image here. Uh, this is the uh, below the steel beam is there, over the decking seat is there. Then over the top flange of the steel beam, using some kind of equipment or the shear stud gun, we can place the shear stud over the top flange of the steel section. The main purpose of shear connectors in a composite beam is to tie this slab and steel beam together and force them to act as a unit. And also the connector must resist the horizontal shear force that develops between the slab and beam as the composite member when it is loaded and it should also prevent the vertical separation at the interface location and uplift of the concrete slab from the steel. Standard stud shear connector is rounded steel bar. It is welded to the steel beam at one end and it is head at the other end like other connection bolts. The stud diameter varies from 12 mm to 25 mm and its length also varies from 50 mm to 200 mm. The strength of the stud connectors increases with its stud length up to a length of about 4 into the diameter of the particular stud connectors and remains approximately constant for greater length. That is few conditions need to be followed for shear studs, concrete and steel deck that we will see one by one. The first condition is design type based on the AAC engineering journal. The usual practice to design the slab as one way simply supported beam for the ultimate limit state condition even though the slab and the decking may be continuous over the floor beams. This is one sample image placed it here. This is our main girder and this is our secondary joist which is connected to our main beam. Our deck seat is placed over those uh, steel beams. Next it is running parallel to this our main girder. Over the deck seat concrete is poured with uh, wire mass. Our shear studs are welded or the top flange of this steel beams. Next condition for the diameter of the shear stud. The diameter of the shear stud should not be more than the 2.5 times the thickness of the flange. You can see the image here. The number is provided here. This is the number conditions too and it is provided here. So this diameter of shear stud will not exceed 2.5 times. Then the condition for length is minimum of 4 times the stud diameter. This is the length of the shear stud then next is concrete cover concrete cover is nothing but the top of shear stud to top of uh, rc this should be minimum 25 mm then next is edge distance edge distance between center of shear stud to edge of the concrete should be 203 mm for normal concrete and 250 mm for lightweight concrete sixth one is spacing on longitudinal direction this spacing should be minimum of six times the diameter of the bar then next is spacing on the transverse direction it should be at least four times the diameter of the bar then next is spacing stud within the ribs this for some exception applies and follows 4d in any direction if the stud within the ribs of formed steel decks oriented perpendicular to the steel beam next condition number nine is maximum spacing Maximum spacing is 8 times the total slab thickness and 900 mm whichever is less. Minimum concrete strength condition is 20 MPa for both normal and lightweight concrete. Maximum concrete compressive strength is 70 MPa for normal concrete and 42 MPa for lightweight concrete. Condition number 12 used for the maximum rip height is 75 mm. Rip height is nothing but this height. It should not exceed 75 mm. 13 is minimum rip width of this deck sheet. This is the rib it should be 50 mm for average maybe you can take average of this and this and it should be at least uh, 50 mm then condition 14 is stud head diameter this diameter of the stud should be uh, diameter this head diameter should be diameter plus 12.5 mm thick then shear stud projection top of from top of steel deck this is the top of steel deck so shear stud should project at least 38.1 mm from this top of steel deck then next is uh, slab thick above steel deck so slab thick above steel deck should be at least 50 mm based on AAC and 62 mm based on the engineering general we seen that minimum cover is 25 mm but this is the minimum slab thick above steel deck from here to here it should be at least 62.5 mm then the last condition is stud head thick this thickness of this stud head should be 9.5 mm or 
12.5 mm. We hope the provided information on this slide is very useful. Please like and subscribe and support us for more videos.